Hello everybody, my name is Biffa and we're going to dive into everything new in the brand new hubs and transport free update for City Skylines plus the three new content creator packs. Also, if you play City Skylines with mods, be sure to hang around until the end for some important information. The new content creator packs include sports venues, shopping malls and Africa in miniature. So there is plenty to look at. So let's dive straight in. First of all, we have the hubs and transport free update, which includes nine new transport hubs, 15 new roads, 15 new vehicles, along with many new props, new assets, new plazas, new buildings, and some lovely quality of life updates. So first of all, let's take a look at what is free for everybody. If you've got the base game, you're going to get these things. And it's been eight years since we've been enjoying City Skylines. And they put a little memorial plaza together, which if you zoom in down here, you get a timeline of all the different DLCs that have been added right up to now. So that is absolutely fantastic. And then we move along a little bit. We've got a brand new little suburban fence. Some brick texture at the bottom, nice little fence panel over there, which I think looks really nice. And if you just swing over here over to the water, we get a new city key wall as well, which is lovely. We've got this sort of texture along the front, some trees on the top, which you can change. I popped in one of the new trees. Aha! Spoilers ahead that we're going to get in this update as well. And I think that is going to look absolutely beautiful on your city's waterfronts. And talking of free trees, five new trees have been added by Mr. Mason. If we have a look at these trees here, we have the Lala Palm starting from the left, then the Umbrella Thorn Tree, my favourite, the Flame Tree, it looks absolutely amazing, the Baobab Tree, and also the California Young Palm Tree. And as always, these trees are just looking spectacular. Ah, oh, fantastic. Okay, what is next on the list? We have some brand new roads that have been added to the free update. So we've got this one here, which is three lane, one way road with a bus lane. And of course you get a bridge version of that as well. Then we have a four lane road with wide sidewalks and you get this in uh, three different versions. So we've got the plain one here and the bridge version. Uh, all three of these, the bridge version looks the same. Uh, we have the one with the grass sides and the one with the grass sides and the trees as well. And of course, these trees can also be upgraded to so any tree you desire. Like this one, my new favourite tree. Oh, absolutely love it. Looks fantastic. Next on the list is the multi-level metro hub. If we take a look from the side, we've got ground level metro, raised metro, and also we have an underground metro line as well. And this is brilliant. I love this. Can't wait to see this in our cities, all the people coming in and out of the various different doors. That is a lovely metro addition to the game. We also have some decorative parking lots. We have a small decorative parking lot a large decorative parking lot and then we have this multi-level uh, what's this one called let's double check the name multi-story decorative parking lot with two different versions so we've got the plain variation there which is very nice and then we have variation number two with these wooden slats and if we just sort of go inside Look at this, exactly like a metro, a metro, exactly like a <laughs> parking lot. I'm sure you've been in many times, but yeah, that is going to work absolutely brilliantly. And even though we've got nowhere for people to live, they're still coming here and parking their cars. Very nice. So the next few items are free, but only if you have certain DLC. So if you have a snowfall, you will also get this metro tram hub. So you can see the underground metro line that's there. And it's got tram lines going each way. You might have seen this one in the trailer uh, or in the, the deeper dive uh, video that was done for Paradox the other day. Um, but that looks very nice as well. So you'll get that one with Snowfall. And this one here, the bus train tram hub. Obviously, we've got the bus stopped at the front that we can put in. And if we move around to the side, we've got the train. And then we've got the tram down at ground level as well. So two new beautiful hub additions. So if you have the Natural Disasters DLC as well, you get these four buildings for free. This one here is the Disaster Response Air Base, which has 10 helicopters that can be used. Uh, compared to the older or the previously released Disaster Response Unit, which had 10 vehicles and three helicopters. So this is like an additional load of helicopters to head out into your city. 
Uh, we also get higher capacity police, medical and fire over here as well, which add another 10 vehicles in each of those. And then if you have the mass transit DLC, you get a whole load of extra roads. So let's have a look at these. We've got some interesting asymmetrical roads. So this is an asymmetrical five lane road, which of course has a bridge version. This is an asymmetrical seven lane road, which of course has a bridge version. This is a four lane with, here we go, with monorail and trees which with the bridge version of course you don't get the trees and then we have the same one again but this time it is a six lane road uh, which of course has the bridge version as well and then we have the version with the trees and the bridge version looks exactly the same as that one in the middle there because you never get trees on a bridge uh, in this game then we have an asymmetrical three lane highway with a bridge version then you get the same but also with the sound barriers down the side and a bridge version we now have a four lane two way highway, which is really interesting and a bridge version of that. And then the same again with the sound barriers on either side. Excellent. So that one's going to be really handy, I think, in a lot of cities. And then if you've got mass transit and snowfall uh, DLCs, you get these two extra roads. So we have a two lane monorail. Let me get the name right. Monorail tracks on two lane road with tram tracks. As you can see down the bottom there underneath and then of course there's a bridge version of that and then you get exactly the same but this time it is a six lane road with tram tracks and the monorail and of course there's the bridge version of that and it seems the tram tracks on the larger roads don't have the same green coloring but they are there as you can see by that symbol so that is all the free stuff that you can get with the new hubs and transport update which i think is brilliant well why don't we look at all of this stuff now that comes with sports venues shopping malls and africa in miniature oh before i forget two more free items that are in the base game so this one you'll get in your base game the harbor bus hub so we've got the buses there we've got the harbor side over here that was shown in the uh, paradox video that was out a couple of days ago but if you have mass transit you get these two as well which is a harbor bus and monorail and i really like this one with the monorail coming in at the angle there that just looks lovely and we also get this one here which is the harbor ferry hub so there we go yeah very nice very nice so the sports venues content creator pack has been put together by bad peanuts and i have to say all of these just look absolutely amazing you're going to get six large unique stadiums covering football baseball and american football you're going to get six mid-size unique stadiums and 10 community sports parks as well so let's take a look at some of these so when we click on these we get like the match day stuff that pops up we can change the color of our team which will affect the shirts of the tourists and people coming to watch obviously it's also changing the color of the seats in there which is fantastic we can change the ticket price uh, we can move it if we want and we've got these different things that we can add i think it's free transport extra security and i can't remember what that one is uh, which gives us a bonus uh, no tool tip on there okay i'm sure that'll be sorted by now but yeah these look i have to say these look absolutely brilliant nice little baseball field going on in there which is really nice there's loads of different ones here american football different shaped baseball some football ones are oh, we've got to pick out some good ones here to go in blighty on the world i'll tell you which one it's probably going to be oh i've got a cricket pitch is that a cricket pitch let's just click on that one no that's an aussie football of course it is yes i didn't see the lines on there well maybe we can pretend it's a cricket pitch <laughs> So some Aussie rules stuff going on there. But yeah, if you see any of these you think are going to fit into my city really well, let me know. But for parks and stuff, even little community soccer parks like this, these are just absolutely stunning. Then you've got some massive big, the Copper Bowl, massive big stadiums as well. And just the design on some of these is just, oh, it is absolutely stunning. I can't wait to see these in the cities with all the details. Oh, look at that. That's like a curved curve way of getting in and out very nice oh that's a cool one isn't it for sort of tucking away little local football team maybe and then the, it's just peanut bowl peanut bowl memorial stadium ah oh, very cool way <laughs> getting the peanut in there very well designed excellent and we've got oh a couple more over here mustn't miss this one 
little park football pitch and then it also comes with this metro station as well the stadium station so have a look underground so you've got one line that goes through there that looks very cute as well excellent so that is everything that comes from bad peanuts sports venues content creator pack right now let's take a look at the shopping malls content creator pack by king leno this pack includes more than 60 assets including department stores shopping plazas fast food restaurants to populate your shopping areas there's four unique buildings which we're going to have a look at 53 growable buildings and some additional little props as well and here we go these are all low density uh, commercial buildings and as we go along you'll see that there's three versions of each of these i believe with these if we do that and wrote yeah so if we i'm using move it to reset that and we get slightly different color variations uh, on those which are nice but these are three different levels each of these come in three different levels they don't sort of change the size on some of these early ones but you've got the various color options that you can use and as we go along <laughs> this, this one's a little bit odd but yeah good for maybe placing manually but we get this little parking thing which upgrades into those with some seating arrangements but some of these buildings then will expand into larger ones but they'll be nice peppered around your city or if you're using things like uh, find it and move it all that sort of stuff you can manually place them yourself or zone them in and uh, yeah watch them grow themselves so there's a whole load of those let's just have a quick look at them these ones i love look at that with all these details on the front looking very very nice oh that one particularly look at that king leno you certainly know what you're doing really good buildings and then we're going to come up here and we're going to get to some of the more special buildings i think these last two actually are only two levels that's two levels two levels it's like level one level three these get one two and three and then we come to these more unique buildings that are up here so let's just take a look at these we've got this mall here let's have a look at that large grocery grocery <laughs> grocery store <laughs> food plus excellent lots of parking got some bays out the back for your trucks to come in and out which is good this thing here is massive the mall of marvels which is just absolutely brilliant i love the look of this with the the bendy road for the bendy people you can have the bendy trucks coming through here bendy buses but that is just amazingly huge you can imagine walking through this can't you inside full of shops lovely design lovely design and then we have a medium grocery store fresh goods marketplace very nice building as well uh, this is sort of a complex open air mall yes yeah, so we've got like a few shops built into here so it's a city mall we've got poses a horror all sorts of things breezy beach get something to eat kitchen shop this is lovely sugar sugar obviously selling donuts in there <laughs> clothes shop sky bar and a fitness place very very nice i'm loving this and then next to that we have open air mall phase two so these are two different buildings one doesn't upgrade into the other but obviously we can place both of these down very good and then finally we have the shopping plaza it's just like a simple shopping stretch of a few buildings with some parking out the front as well so that is a lovely pack and this is out of all the packs this is the only one that's got some growable items in there so if that's what you want then this is the pack to get excellent great job so let's have a look at our final pack africa in miniature so this pack has been put together by a longtime cities fan 3d artist setonji princess hotunu and we have in this one 11 unique buildings, two monuments, four service buildings, nine growable buildings, beg your pardon, we've got some in this pack as well, and two props as well for a total of 28 buildings. So let's take a look at those. So again, very interesting style of building. I'm loving the look of these. These are low density commercial all the way along here. Oh, these are fantastic and if you recognize what these assets are based on let me know in the comments because uh, obviously that I, I to me that looks like it's styled on a large version of that building uh, this is high density commercial this building with some amazing balcony details that's looking fantastic back to low density again this is the other high density one that's in the pack i wonder if these come in different colors as well let's grab the move it mod and do the reset feature now all the yeah, you get a few different color changes on there this one gets some different trees okay excellent back to some more low density ones again very nice with the wood effect on the front there 
I like it. I like it. And then we get to some of the unique buildings. So let's just jump out of this. So what have we got here? We've got the Bantu Art Museum, a communication center for administration. Looking fantastic. Um, what's this one here? This looks like community school. Ah, so we've actually got some service buildings and service buildings, as we said as well. So that's like an elementary school. Brilliant. This is the largest one out of all of them. I really like this building. This is a conference center for trade shows and expos and things like that. But yeah, imagine that in your city. Really good. I think we've got another... Oh, the Ergo Ego City Market. The National Library. But this doesn't act as a library. It does act as a library. Oh, cool. That is a really nice looking library. I'm liking that a lot. Brilliant. This is a very interesting looking building. The Oran... Oran Mia Towers. Oran Miller Towers. Does that count as a bank? No, it counts as a tourist uh, visitor. This one can be placed anywhere. And it doesn't let me click on it now. So what is this? This might be because I've got Find It Available. Or this might be available in the Park tab. Let me have a look. Yeah, here we go. Available to everybody. It is a park monument. And then you can just place that anywhere you like. And we've got some other little props here as well. Thatched roof, parasol with table and a fancy wicker chair. Uh, also the two props you can have in this one. Uh, we've got a police department. Let's see if that comes in different colours as well. Different trees out the back. Boing, 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 boing. Excellent. Looking very nice. What is this? I didn't even notice. This has got like a mahusive spider on top of a two-headed... Is it two-headed snake or two snakes? It's on top of a two-headed snake. That is just freaky. The Royal Museum. Excellent. Is that a real building in real life? I'm going to have to go and look that up. <laughs> a nice plaza there. Sahel Monument. What's this one here? Oh, beautiful building. The Sanctum of Odudua. Brilliant. So then we're getting into some larger buildings over here. This is huge. Nice little plazas and details on the top. Very nice, very nice. The Botanical Museum. This is, I think, the largest one. Yeah, there we go. The Gold Tower. Look at that. Looks like it's made out of solid gold. The Monument of Colossal Heroes. Very nice. And then the last couple here, the Temple of the Sahel. Like a statue monument type thing out the back. The Unification Monument. And finally, the Unity Pyramid. So there's some very nice designs here as well. Fantastic. Right, so I've set up some transport options here so we can take a look at some of the other new additions and improvements to the game. Uh, first of all, something that everybody's going to get if we go into the line details here. So now any vehicle that you choose, any type of vehicle on any line, you now have the capacity written underneath, which is absolutely fantastic. That was something I was always having to, before I would change out the vehicle, see what it said here, go back, pick another one, but having it all listed there, and that's the same for trains trams the works it's now got that written down which is absolutely brilliant there's now a whole load of extra metros so if we go into our metro line on here we have 450 360 240 120 and 500 and 250 that have all been added here we go we can see the 120 capacity metro about to go past some amazing looking vehicles there's also a new capacity train, which has 240. Looking very sleek. I am liking that one. And then if you have After Dark, you will also get an option to have a black taxi cab. So if we go into here, we can change which cabs come out. We've got the standard one and the black taxi cab as well. If you have Natural Disasters, you get the option to have an articulated evacuation bus. Um, I've set a route up for that. Let's just see if we can get that bus to come out and go and collect people. Ah, oh, there it is. Another bendy bus for the bendy people. Excellent. Then if you have mass transit, you have new monorail vehicles. Let's take a look at the line here. And we'll jump into here. We've got a capacity 120 and the one that we can see here, the capacity 240, along with our normal monorail train as well. And again, these look fantastic. And also, if you have mass transit, we get four new ferries with capacity 10, 20, 30, and 40. Let's switch this one out so we can see the various ones that are available to us. So which one's this one here? That's capacity 30. Let's have a look at the capacity 10 model. Oh, look at that one. That's the capacity 10. Looking very much like a speedboat sort of thing. Let's speed things up. Oh, yeah, look at that. Very nice. And this is the capacity 20 ferry. 
Loving the design of that one. Very cool, very cool. Capacity 30 we already saw, and this is capacity 40. And of course, they will all change color depending on the color of the lines. And there's been a whole load of new tweaks and fixes that have been added to the base game. I'm just going to pick out some of these. One of them is, if you go to your main menu, like so, we can now go into a new game. Of course, that's never a good idea if you're using mods, but in vanilla, you can go straight to a new game to save you going back to the main menu, which is great. Also in City to Sist <laughs> I knew I was going to struggle with that. Also in City Statistics, you can also look at your imports and your exports, which we're not going to be <laughs> exporting much, are we? Because there's no blooming city here. But yeah, that's very handy to look at. And one that might affect a lot of your cities, vehicle upkeep is has been rebalanced to include base cost plus a multiplier for passenger capacity. So the bigger the vehicle, the more it's going to cost. So keep an eye on that. There's also been a rebalancing of the forest fire spreading. So forest fire spreads with notably less probability. Forest fire burns with slightly less intensity. Fire helicopters can carry twice as much water as before. And they have a larger fire fighting rate. Fire fighting rate. Yes, that's right. Yeah, I read that correctly. So there we go. That's very helpful. Look at these guys. They're absolutely going for it. This one here is going to miss. No, there we go. Excellent. Good job, guys. There is also now a search box that has been added to your game if you want to load up a save. There we go. We'll type that in and we can find all of our New Zealand saves. Excellent. Very, very helpful. And in the content manager, instead of just being able to enable all or disable all, which will do all of them, we can now individually select ones. And if we tick on and off, it will just do the ones that you have selected, which is very, very helpful. So you, that combined with the, I haven't got any trees installed. Oh yeah, there we go. So a good example, if I just wanted to remove all of my trees, I could, let's just put that one back on again, select both of those and turn them all off like that. That sort of thing is very, very helpful. And another big addition is this search option here. So you can now type in, so let's go for two-way. Actually, it'll probably be that. There we go. Excellent. And you can find all the things that match that. Let's go for highway. We can find all the highways that match that. And that is absolutely brilliant. And that search box is in every single one of these menus down here, these different build menus. So we're looking for a small park type in small we get the small gates small roads small parks you can see how that would work that is going to be a very interesting addition there we go to searching around and also back to the road menu there are also now filters so if you want one-way roads you can click that button if you want two-way roads you can click that button you've also got basic roads roads that are decorated in some way and roads that have public transportation on them so you can mix these two with these three over here so you can have one way public transportation one way decorated and that works in all of the road menus as well another excellent quality of life addition so I mentioned that if you're using mods, you really need to take action because some of the very big mods that we use in our game are being affected. Uh, if we just look at this little square here, I will link to this in the description below. This goes to the City Skylines Reddit. One big mod a lot of us use is the Extended Managers Library, which is then tied into Prop Anarchy and Tree Anarchy. Um, so we need to get the fixes by those. Also, Loading Order Mod and Adaptive Networks is changing. But this page is fantastic for listing all the details, what you need to do, back up your cities, be ready for any changes to the game. I always recommend a compatibility report mod. You literally install it as any other mod, run a report, it opens a nice HTML file for you to look at and tells you which mods to remove and which mods to replace them with if you need to. But keep in mind, there's many mod makers working behind the scenes, getting their mods ready for release. Or within a day or two, most things are certainly fixed. I use a lot of mods and I very quickly get up and running again. So thank you, thank you, thank you to Colossal Order for allowing uh, the mod devs to have early access and work on getting all this stuff ready for us. And of course, thank you to the devs for all of their hard work in doing that too. So what are you most looking forward to? Let me know in the comments below. I will put Steam links to everything so you can go and check them all out yourself if you so wish. And, you know, a thumbs up, a like on this video is always appreciated. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all for the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.